when we make a choice to stay, we are taking on a risk. I mean, that's just the nature of choosing to remain with someone who deceived, lied, betrayed, whatnot. We, we are taking a risk. And at some point, if we see that perhaps um, our spouse is not leaning into uh, healing the marriage as we are, or we are just not feeling as though we can trust them, and maybe it's been years, I mean, some things might kind of start showing us that we may need to consider whether it's time to just say, okay, I can't do this anymore. And it's hard to know. Um, sometimes our emotions are tricky. So if you're asking yourself that question right now, wondering, all right, well, should I, should I keep doing this? Or is it time to walk away? Uh, I'll give you a few things to think about to help you perhaps decide what's best for you. So stay tuned. Um, I'll give you a few things to think about if you are contemplating whether it's time to go. Um, and I'm going to give this to you for you to think about. I in no way, shape or form am trying to say that you should leave if you answer yes to any of these questions. But I do think these are things that we need to think about as we're looking for. Because the bottom line here is that to stay and work on a marriage, we need to start to feel safe at some point. If it has been a while and um, you still don't feel safe, and if your spouse is still lying or there are things going on, obviously you have every reason in the world to kind of question what you're doing and, and to decide what's best for you. So the first question I would recommend that you ask yourself and really explore, this is great to do in your journal, by the way, if you're a journaler, is or, or to talk to your coach or counselor about, is to ask the question, have I felt safe at all in this process? <laughs> have I felt safe at all? Um, because safety is interesting. Safety and trust are two different things. You can't really trust fully if you don't feel safe. So safety is kind of that foundation of, um, of building trust and building your relationship back on. If you have felt safe at, at, you know, during this affair recovery period, and now you don't, maybe maybe you need to explore why you're now feeling unsafe. So if you've felt safe and now you don't, maybe you need to explore it. The answer is no, I haven't felt safe at all. Well, that's something to really consider. I think that, that might be something to, um, to kind of think it through. If you haven't felt safe at all, then you might have some tough decisions to make. Um, also ask yourself the question, um, as I am pouring into this relationship, trying to help it heal, um, doing my part, do I feel as though my spouse is also, is my spouse in this with me? Um, am I alone in this? Um, it, is my spouse with me? So ask yourself that question. Now, if you answer, yeah, I think, you know, they really want this to work, and then you question, well, they're all in, but I still don't feel all in. I don't know. Maybe that means you need to kind of talk with a therapist or talk with a coach and see what's holding you back. A lot of times when we are like, I just don't think I can keep doing this. I mean, they're, they're doing everything right. And I'm just, you know, I just don't feel it. I don't know if I love them anymore. Okay. That's called stuck. There are ways to get through stuck if you truly want to. So if you answered that question, well, yeah, I mean, they're they're putting into it. Maybe you've got some work to do. However, if on the flip side of that, no, they refuse to go to counseling. They won't talk to you. They're treating you poorly, whatever it is. If you feel like you're constantly pouring in to a cup with a hole at the bottom of it, in other words, that cup is never going to be filled because you're the only one putting something in it and there's a hole at the bottom. Well, maybe you need to start having some, you know, hard conversations 
um, to try to determine your next steps. And then finally, um, you know, if you look to the future and ask yourself the question, am I at a place where I can see what could be? Is that something I can still put energy towards? Um, is, is, is my spouse um, seeing that with me? Are they partnering with me for this good future that I can see? And if the answer is yes, and you still feel held back and you're just not sure and you're still wavering on, um, is it time to go? I'm tired, I don't wanna do this anymore. Well, maybe you are just tired. Maybe you need to talk to somebody about better ways to manage your energy so that you can continue to pour in if you choose to do so. If the answer is no, your spouse does not see a future or if you think your spouse still has one foot out the door or whatever, I don't know. Again, maybe we need to rethink that. Now, having asked these three questions for you to explore, um, I will say beyond the shadow of a doubt, if you are in an abusive situation, a truly abusive situation, I don't believe that you need to ask those questions. I think you need to find safety. And to find safety, you may need to leave the relationship. That is just the sad truth of it. I wish with all my heart that there was no domestic abuse and that everybody was safe, but I'm not naive enough to think that so. Um, so if that is you and you are in an abusive situation, forget the questions and find safety. But if you feel safe with your partner, as far as you know, emotional and mental and physical safety, you just don't feel safe as in, you know, you're just not 100% sure, you just don't know if they're gonna cheat again, or you just don't know if you could ever love them like you could. Maybe sex just isn't great, whatever it is. Some of these things, when you answer the questions, is not about your spouse or the potential for your relationship, it's going on in you. So that's why I encourage these three questions. Ask them to yourself and work through. If you think perhaps you have some work to do, do the work first and then decide if you should leave. But I really believe those three questions will help guide you toward um, some clarity on what you wanna do next, okay? Um, I know I'm the wives who stay coach. <laughs> Uh, but I am, I certainly don't think that every single marriage that goes through infidelity is going to make it to the other side. Um, some marriages really don't need to. Some marriages really do need to dissolve for the betterment of both parties or the betterment of one party. Uh, but, you know, sometimes when we feel like, is it time to leave? Sometimes it's not that it's time to leave. It's time to think differently. It's time to look at things differently. It's time to work on stuff differently. So hopefully those three questions can give you the clarity you need to make the best decision for you. And if you're looking for a coach to walk this journey with you and to help you find some clarity, I would love to have a free consultation with you. That link is below along with some free things I have created for you. Feel free to grab them um, as well as join my Facebook group. So I invite you to do that as well. Um, and by the way, our Facebook group is only for women. It's only for wives. So I know a lot of husbands watch my videos. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have a group for husbands, but um, you're welcome to also do a free consult with me if you'd like. Well, good luck, and I hope these questions help you find the clarity you're looking for.